First up, the big one. Last night, we told you about Royal Dutch Shell in talks to buy British oil and gas producer BG Group. Well, today, Shell pulled the trigger, saying that it would buy BG for $70 billion, making it the biggest deal in that industry in more than a decade, back when Chevron bought Texaco in 2000 for $36 billion. Shares of Shell finished the day lower by 3.5%. Jackie DeAngelis has more on what this deal means tonight. A big deal announced in the energy patch today, Royal Dutch Shell buying BG for roughly $70 billion. It's the latest energy deal this year and one of the larger of the last decade, rivaling when Exxon bought Mobil in 1998. BG is known for both its oil and gas assets. The addition of those assets will boost Shell's portfolio by about 25%. For Shell, the purchase of BG increases their oil and natural gas reserves as well as their oil production, while BG brings to the table storage and terminaling assets as well as tankers to move the natural gas around the world. With the lower oil and natural gas prices, we've seen companies like Whiting Petroleum put themselves up for sale, as well as a number of other companies go into bankruptcy. So the time is ripe for more mergers and acquisitions, as we'll see more consolidation this year. BG stock dropped about 30 percent since the oil slide began last summer. That and its wide range of assets make it a prime acquisition candidate. With Shell paying a 50 percent premium to try to keep Exxon from making a counteroffer, some analysts are questioning that valuation. But Shell is betting it's cheaper to make the deal for proven reserves than it would be to spend money looking for new ones. With the decline of oil and natural gas prices, we're seeing that it's cheaper for big companies to actually buy other smaller companies to increase their reserves and production rather than to go out on their own and drill for oil and gas. With oil prices falling about 50 percent since the beginning of the slide last summer, analysts say that the industry is ripe for consolidation. Some of the names on the table for acquisitions are BP, Anadarko, Apache, EOG, and Pioneer, just to name a few. While some analysts think that oil prices have been trying to find a bottom in recent weeks and that the time to strike on deals like this is now, others still argue that there's more pain to come, especially as U.S. inventories continue to rise and so does Saudi Arabia's output. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis.